Hello and a very warm welcome to the channel. So today what I'd like to do is just show you one of the features that you can use to calculate your takeoff speeds on the TOLIS aircraft and the information that we're going to look at and the procedure is correct as at the time of recording this. So we're going to look at the feature that's available on the FMS but I'm just showing you one of the um, ways that you can use. In fact this was the first uh, takeoff calculator that was shipped with TOLIS's first aircraft, the Airbus 319. The latest edition is the takeoff performance calculator that's available on the tablet. But today we're going to have a look at the one that is available via the uplink takeoff data page on the takeoff performance page of the FMS. So, one thing I do recommend is make sure that the meta that you've read does agree with what you've currently got in the simulator. So, a few ways that I do this I just check that the outside air temperature agrees with that on the METAR so here in Frankfurt it's currently 11 degrees and that agrees another way you can do this is just verify that the Q&H that you've got set which is 997 agrees with the airfield elevation and this is around about 340 feet so I'm happy um, that the current METAR is in play and is in effect in the simulator Affirmative. So we are just preparing our flight today, which is Lufthansa 692 from Frankfurt down to Jordan. So we've gone to the data page, just check the aircraft status. We've then gone to the init page, just completed all the entries there. To the flight plan page, and we're expecting to depart from runway 25 centre. We've then gone back to the RADNAV page, and we'll just enter the FRD VOR here, just so that we keep the flow going. And those of you that uh, will know what fly I'm doing, it's what we call diff rips. So, data page, init page, flight plan page, rad nav, and then we're going to go back to init, but this time init B. Just make sure that your zero fuel weight, your block fuel, etc., agrees with what's on your flight plan. And there is another video just dedicated solely to uh, checking the values on this page and how this page can really add another depth of information to your flight. Oh, and then we're going to go over to the perf page. So of course at the moment the perf page doesn't have any entries in there and the colours green and blue just in the standard Airbus uh, way so anything in green you're unable to change, anything in blue you can change. So the next bit that I'm going to do before we go ahead and hit the uplink TO data button, purely optional but I typically like to do a config to departure and when we press the uplink takeoff data button that will just force it to calculate the takeoff performance based on a config to departure. So we're now on the uplink takeoff data request and again we can't change those values so the takeoff weight that's why I said just make sure that you've check that on init B. The temperature, again we can't go outside and uh, sort of turn the heat up or anything like that so that's set at 11 but you can uh, change the Q&H here if you want to, that is in blue but you won't be able to type it here. What you have to do is just use the selector down here so where you would normally select your Q&H. So you just wind that, it just changes it on the value here for you. And then the winds we're just going to enter, they're about 200 at 10 knots. So that goes in there. The contamination field, you can change the values there just using the up and downward arrows. So let's just say it's dry. And really covered that value there as to why we've got the config 2 showing there. So let's go ahead, get it to compute the takeoff data. Hit request, give it a moment, and the system responds takeoff data uplink. I'm just going to clear that message. So, what we can now do is review that takeoff data by clicking on received, and you've got two sets of data one for a max takeoff data, or a, typically you'd know that as a TOGA departure. So, they're the speeds for that. And then down here we've got the flex uh, temperature takeoff values, and they're here. So as you can see, they're just slightly, slightly higher. So let's say that we were quite happy to go with a flex takeoff 
uh, speeds here, 149, 149 and 152. We'll just go ahead and we'll now insert those into the takeoff page. And I always say as well, just make sure that it's copied in exactly what you expect. We're now just going to go and complete this. So I normally go to the pre-flight page and then to the secondary plan. And I normally make a copy of the active flight plan as well. That's just showing in white at the moment. So before we go over a really useful feature involving the secondary flight plan, what I'm going to do is just go back to the performance page. And let's say that we are just going to compute our values based on a slightly lower takeoff weight. So for example, down here, you notice that we are carrying quite a bit of extra fuel. Let's say that our uh, block fuel will be around about 11.5. That's fine. We could maybe take a bit more off there. So let's go, go with 11.2. Okay, so we'll now go back to the takeoff uh, data uplink here. I'm going to make a request this time based on a slightly lower takeoff weight of 81.9 tonnes. We'll leave everything else the same and we'll just hit takeoff data request. It's back again with more figures. So let's just clear that message. Go to receive takeoff data. And where are our figures now? So basically each time you ask it to calculate the takeoff speeds, it will pop it onto the next available page. So here's our figures based on a takeoff weight of 83.6 tonnes. If we go arrow right, that's the next page with our slightly lower takeoff weight. And there's our speeds again for the toga departure. And then down here we can go and see what the values are for a flex uh, temp takeoff. So th those values are there. Okay, so let's remain with our slightly lower takeoff weight. And just to show you where we are parked on the ground at Frankfurt, we are quite close to runway 18, even though we've got a uh, expected clearance from runway 25 centre. But what we're thinking of is we can talk to the controller nicely and get runway 18. So we want to prepare for that eventuality. Uh, so we want really the best of both worlds. We want our takeoff speeds and our flight plan for 25 centre, and we also want takeoff speeds and our flight plan for runway 18. So how do we do that? Let's go back down to the secondary flight plan, and we've already copied that, so we're just going to click back on it here. And in the same way as if this was the main flight plan, we're just going to come into here, change the departing runway to 18, and just put the SID, the Annex SID, back in there and insert that. So still the secondary flight plan, we can identify that by the word SEC up there, yeah, and the fact that it's white, which means it's not the active flight plan. What we do want to do then is compute the takeoff speeds for that runway. So let's go back to the SEC plan and then click on the PERF button there. And you can see the speeds are blank at the moment for the secondary flight plan. So in order to access the takeoff calculator, click back again on the perf page. And what we're going to do this time is tell it that we want to depart from runway 18. So we're going to go on to uplink takeoff data and type in here the runway. Now this forms, notice how the runway is after the forward slash. So we're just going to go forward slash 18. Drop that in there. I'll put my um, flap two setting in there again and then we'll go ahead and hit the takeoff data request button of course the takeoff weight temperature the winds etc aren't going to change so we'll just now click on takeoff data request give it a moment okay it's responded then with another set of figures so I just by habit I like to clear that message let's go back down then to the receive takeoff data this time the values will be on page three so over we go there, you can see there the values for runway 18, it says it there, and there's our V-speeds. That's for a max or toga departure. Same again, if we want the values for a flex temp takeoff, we click on that. What we do need to do then, we're not going to actually go ahead and insert the uplink, you can't anyway. That option is not available. So we just need to make a note of these figures and drop them into the secondary uh, performance page to match the secondary flight plan. So what have we got? 147 and 150 and a flex of 37. 
Okay, so go back to the SEC flight plan, perf page. Okay, so here's our takeoff performance page for the secondary flight plan. I've just typed the values into the V speeds, the flap setting, etc. Okay, so let's assume now then that we've got our clearance from runway 18. So we're now just going to go back down to the secondary flight plan and this time we're going to activate that. Just going to make sure that we've got runway 18 there, which we have. Check takeoff data, which we're about to do. We go back to the performance page and you can see there that the fee speeds are what we've worked out in the event that we've got a clearance from runway 18. So apart from the fact that it started to rain, you can give yourself a huge pat on the back now. You're all prepared, you've got your departure runway loaded into the FMS and you've got the speeds already calculated. And finally, there is another set of figures that you can use to base your calculations from. Just go here for the next page of this. You'll see that everything's blank. To kick it off, put in a departing runway. So I don't know, let's say two five right. That goes in there. And then you can just change the values as you did previously as well. So in the case that we were just talking about earlier, where you calculated the takeoff speeds based on runway 18, you could always come in here as well and do it on page two. Entirely your choice. Let me know what you think in the comments. Any questions, just drop those in the comments. I'd be interested to hear which one of the three calculators you use in order to calculate your takeoff speeds. Hope you've enjoyed that and hope you found it useful. Do like, subscribe, and I'll see you on another video. Thanks again. Bye bye.